If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, there's only one place to go. Head over to MMOEXP and make sure you use my code, that dude KD for 5% off your order. Get your team looking right, man. Let's go. Yo, what is good, my people? Happy Thanksgiving. We made it. We got the best two holidays back to back. Thanksgiving, Christmas. It don't get much better than this time of the year, man. Hope everyone's chilling, having a great day. You, If you one of those negative people, you better cancel all that nonsense today. That is the day you need to throw that shit out the window. Look at your family. Look at your cousin you haven't seen in a few years, man. Who cares if you don't like him, man? Show some love. Show some love. You may not see him ever again. You know what I'm saying? This is real shit. I'm over here right now thinking about my grandma. This is a prime day where all the feelings, all the prime... I don't even know. I don't want to call them negative feelings because it's not negative. It is sadness knowing she's not here no more, but this was her favorite holiday. Instead of focusing on the fact that she's not here, the fact that I can't have a conversation with her no more, which hurts every single day, of course, man. I'm a human being. But let's use today as, all right, let me... Let me go above and beyond making sure my family is connected today. Making sure we're all having conversations. Phones are upstairs, baby. We're all eating dinner. You know what I'm saying? And these are things I didn't really think of before she passed. But I'm like, wait, she's not here no more. She's, there's no one really emphasizing this. Like, one, the year after she passed, we didn't even eat dinner at the same table. Like, it was weird, bro. It was a weird vibe. But not this year, bro. Not this year. It's To me, I feel like it's disrespectful not to continue the legacy. I'm getting sidetracked, man. I'm getting sidetracked. My bad. But just going to show y'all, I woke up with two different spectrums. I'm like, I could think this way. I can continue this nonsense and let this tradition slip away. Or we can get this grasp and get it back, baby. Now I know she's smiling down, giggling. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, now you realize how stressful it was getting things put together on Thanksgiving and Christmas. I hear you, man. I hear you. I miss you, too. Trust me. All that being said, man, let's use today. I don't give a fuck if you don't. If you got a homie who you haven't talked to in a few years, man, hit him up. Hit him up, bro. That one text message could save his life. Not that you know. I mean, you don't know what's going on in his life, but you know, everyone has gotten that text message from a homie or from someone where you're like, damn, like, all right, he's, he's taking time to think about me. Like, okay. Not even he, he, she's taking time to think about me. Like, this person is taking time out their day to show some love. It makes you feel good. I don't care who you are. It does. So return that favor to someone else today, man. It's Thanksgiving. And hopefully, we can start making this a trend. I want all y'all, everyone who watches my videos, we need to become better people. There's too many shitheads out here. Too many fucks out here, man. Trying to boom, just, just trying to negatively affect other people's lives. So if we need to be that anchor that just is on the opposite spectrum. Forget that noise, man. Stay true to your roots. But at the same time, don't do nothing shady. Don't do nothing stupid, man. Well, you know damn well your mama or your grandma's gonna be looking at you shaking your head like, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? I know I'm getting sidetracked. This is some foolery talk right now, but this is real, though. This is real. I want all my people to eat. I want all of us to have that mentality of just being a good human being, man. Because the more, the more mindsets like that out there, the better this world is gonna be. That's not corny. That's fact. Think about it. This is also me just ranting on giving love to you guys too, man. We, it's been a year. Let me tell y'all about my journey. Let me tell story time. Get the popcorn out. I was recording MLB The Show about a year back. Having fun with it too. I was recording gameplays every day. I remember I would come home from work. I'm talking. And believe me, I'm not saying this to complain. This was fun at the time. Believe me. Me saying all this, I was having more fun back then, believe it or not, than I am now. Believe it or not. But your boy... We'll wake up, crack at dawn, 6 a.m. Go drive 20 minutes across town. We live in the mid-city area, and my job was over there on the coast, high up in the mountains in a nice little rich area, Pacific Palisades. Y'all, if you know, you know. If you don't, it's the spot. Now, basically, recording MLB The Show, we'll get off every day at 6, have to sit in traffic for about a buck, a buck and some change some nights, get home, record two gameplays, Edit them up and repeat the process. Rinse and repeat the next day. And I was doing that with ease, having fun, chilling. And then right around November, my boy Austin's like, you know what, bro? I think it's time you change your talents. Take your talents to another game. See what see what it can offer. See what that community has to offer. I mean, have we looked back ever since? It's been a year. I started off this Madden journey at 2,000 subscribers, I want to say. 2.1, maybe. We sitting at 10.4. I mean, come on now. 
that's all y'all. That's all y'all telling a friend to tell a friend, hey, yo, you hear about this dude, Katie? You, have you heard about that dude? Like, when y'all do that, that means the world to me. That is the not what we do it for, but we trying to get as many eyes on us as possible. Trying to get this message out to as many people as possible, man. One day, and I know for facts, we're going to do it. I know just from the small little group of people that I've talked to in the comment sections, stuff like that. I know one day we're going to have these meet and greets. We're going to meet up one day, hit up. I'm talking a beach meetup, hitting a fat killer workout for an hour and a half, taking care of the body, mind and spirit. And then we going to go get some grub as a group, go on a bike ride as a group, as a team, as a family, man. These are things you can look back on. I don't know about y'all, but when I have those days with my homies where we go to the beach and do something collectively together, that never escapes the brain. That shit is never escaping the mind. So imagine you meeting up with some dudes you've never met a day in your life. You're over here. The only interaction you have with them is through YouTube and a keyboard. And you about to make a memory with them and hopefully continuously grow that relationship. Like This is stuff that I have always wanted to do. And now I got the small opportunity to do it. So let's do it, man. And it's only going to continuously grow. So anyone out there who is new to the channel, thinking about subscribing, if you like the vibe, subscribe. If you don't, find your next guy. I'm not for everyone. Which leads me to you guys. I'm already talking about you guys and the support, but anyone out there who's been trying to think about recording, should I, should I put this on my Christmas list? Should I get the Elga? Bro, do it. Do it. If you're thinking about it, do it. That that haunting memory is always going to last if you don't act on it. You know how many times there's been a bad bitch, a bad female? I've been working myself up two or three days like, yo, how should I approach her? Don't look like a fool. Do this. Don't do that. Come to find out, I've been stressing for the past two or three days. This bitch got a boyfriend. And as soon as she said, oh, I have a boyfriend. Once you hear those words, if I can't explain that feeling, but if you know, you know, once that pressure is off, the conversation flows like a damn waterfall and you're not even thinking about what you're going to say next. You're not thinking about nothing because you don't give a fuck. You ain't got nothing to lose. She got a boyfriend. Why can't we act like that when it's normal? And I'm not saying I can't. I'm trying to, I'm still trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm telling y'all. This shit, everyone is a human being. We all go through this shit, bro. We all go through the same shit. Trust me. But nah, man. I want to fix that about myself. I want to change that. Where I need to stop letting my mind overcome the situation. Our mind can create a situation out of nothing. For example, bro. Well, I gave you one example, which is kind of key, but another example we can give. And this is on the opposite spectrum. The chick hit me up, right? We went to elementary school. We knew each other for a minute. Hopefully my homies aren't listening because they might be able to put two and two together. Hopefully not. But we went to elementary school. Not the most attractive girl, but not ugly. Like, definitely someone I would... You know what I'm saying. You know the vibe. But she hit me up, bro. I would post something like me chilling with my pops out of view, bro. Like just, you know, when you go scan the view, she would comment back hard eyes like, yo, when are we going to kick it? Blah, blah, blah. Are you trying to work out? Me being a dummy thinking like, oh, I've known this bitch for 20 years. She ain't like, she's just trying to kick it and work out. Like never really took it seriously. But once we finally did kick it two and two together and that turned into something pretty cool. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. She was shooting her shot. She was the whole time trying to basically get in the situation that we were in. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking around. But I'm thinking, I'm like, whoa, whoa. She was being bold. She didn't switch up at all. She just came to me, asked me a few questions. Nothing crazy. If it was a yes, it was a yes. If it was a no, it was a no. Kept it pushing. Now, things didn't work out. Girls, for some reason, they like to burn bridges. I'm a, I'm a dude. I'm going to keep it with you. I'm going to shoot it to you straight. I'm going to shoot you straight. When there's a girl and we stop talking, I don't like to burn the bridge because a year from now, two years from now, what if she's doing good for herself? Or what if she's, I'm not saying on some gold digger stuff, but what if she's doing better than you left her? What if her situation has increased financially? That's all we got to say financially. Well, you would be stupid not to have that connection, that relationship still, man. I don't care. If y'all aren't messing around no more, man, that's still someone who 
hopefully you gained some type of knowledge from that person hopefully you got something out of that relationship other than you know just a smack hopefully shout out to all my youngins too man y'all you, gonna experience this in time hopefully y'all can come back to this video a few years from now and be like damn i remember kd i remember he was talking about this and it came true because i don't speak no bs everything i tell y'all is happening to me you know what i'm saying and it's fucking some of these stories that i haven't let fly yet y'all we saving them we saving them we saving them man i know you guys like this little format of me just talking just spitting some shit but you know what the fact that you guys like it we may have to start doing it y'all may see this on the channel every other day i don't know we'll see what we feel like you know i could wake up one day <laughs> i'm gonna scratch my balls sit on my ass watch netflix is that what i should be doing no obviously is that what happens sometimes yes i'm a human being just like y'all we all wake up motivated some days some days we ain't now it's about minimizing those days that we're not i'm not trying to be sitting on my ass every day one day out of seven days yo, you can do it especially if the other days you went hard you can reward yourself don't make it a habit though don't make it a bad habit man i'm not gonna hang on and let you guys listen to my voice for too much longer i know it's thanksgiving i know you guys want to get to your families i know you guys want to have that conversation that i was telling y'all about earlier in the video man if you're not one of those dudes try to be because i'm not one of those dudes believe it or not when i'm at the dinner table i'm trying to eat i don't want to speak to anyone bro but i have slowly changed that going to my homies path for dinner a few nights out of the week man just so we can have that conversation doing things that i'm afraid of I'm afraid of having conversations sometimes because I don't know how stupid I'm a sound. That's real. That's real. Y'all feel like that too, some of y'all. Some of y'all don't. We all got different problems that we're trying to fix and correct. That's the beautiful thing about life. We get every day and there's a new opportunity to correct what we didn't do the other day or counterbalance something that we weren't really attacking the pre, you know what I'm saying? Life is beautiful, man. We need to take advantage. It's Thanksgiving. Make sure you tell your loved ones that you love them. If there's a friend out there you haven't talked to in a minute and you have any inclination that any little urge that you want to talk to them, do it. Reach out to them. Be that dude. Trust me. Hence the name, man. Y'all know the vibes. I'm going to get up out of here. Take care. Don't stuff yourself too much. Make sure you got leftovers for a few days. If you know how to play the Thanksgiving game, you always got meals for the next few days. Don't be stupid, man. I'm going to get up out of here. Send me your plates on Twitter. I'm trying to see pictures, man. DM me. I want to see which weirdo is. Who has the plate of just one turkey, a little drizzle of gravy, and the rest is like veggies, stuffing. Ugh, bro. My plate is consisted of turkey, mashed potatoes, and mac and cheese. Caveman days. No veggies in sight. I'm going to see y'all later, man. Take care.